Non Americans of Reddit, what's the weirdest thing an American has said to you? I live in the Southern Hemisphere. Talking to an American online in December, and I mentioned it was summer for me. She kept asking which month I was in, kept insisting it must be June, and couldn't seem to wrap her head around the idea that it was simultaneously December and summer in the Southern Hemisphere. Canadian here. I was seven and in Florida telling my new also seven year old friend about our money system. I told her we don't have dollar or two dollar bills, they are coins and called a loony and a toonie. She goes and asks her parents, and they told her I was lying. I was asked if France is part of the United Kingdom. When I tried explaining him what the United Kingdom is, he told me England is no longer part of the UK because of Brexit. You speak real good English for a foreigner. I'm British and she knew that. Edit, because a lot of people seem to think that no American could ever say this and mean it. It was a lovely, sweet, older woman who thought she was paying me a genuine compliment. We sat and chatted in her garden for about an hour as she plied me with her homemade lemonade and asked me about my life and what brought me to Washington State. I thanked her, because she was saying something lovely, albeit weird, and we continued chatting. I'm British, was traveling in the States. Got talking to a guy at a bar while we're waiting for service, and he recommended I try a pint of Guinness while in the US. He informed me they don't sell Guinness in the UK. I politely explained that they do indeed have Guinness in just about every pub in the UK. He disagreed, adding that he's never been himself but his son-in-law went to London on business and told him so. I explained I'd lived in the UK including London my whole life. He looked at me lost in thought for a few moments, and said, they don't have Guinness there, and walked away. When an American asked me what it's like to have an accent, they thought that they had no accent and their voice was default basically. Wait, y'all have IKEA? I am Swedish. I'd say it's a toss up between. Is England in London? Do you still like, drive horses to get around in Europe? And a guy trying to smack talk on Xbox who after I told him nobody cares said who cares what you think? You're foreign. I said so are you? And he laughed and said no retard, I'm American. How long did you take you learn to use metric instead of normal measurements? He genuinely didn't understand that metric was a system we actually used every day, we weren't constantly having to mentally convert most rements to feet or pounds to understand how big they really were. Had a black American assume that I was African American also, because I'm black. I had to explain to him that the ethnically specified title, African American, is only used to describe black people from America, not black people from other countries, and that black people from other countries are not specifically labeled by heritage, race or ethnicity. Afterward I revealed to him that I am actually Bahamian. Despite all that explaining, he still proceeded to ask, oh, so you're an African Bahamian then? I felt the vein on the side of my head twinge a little lol. Edit. Wow. Thanks for the great responses in my very first award. I really appreciate the shared experiences and positive feedback. 3-3 Someone asked a valid question which I thought should be responded to here because some people may also be confused on this. The term is not African Bahamian because I am not inherently attached to African citizenship or heritage. Dot. This term would be used for someone who is actually from Africa, but is also a Bahamian, vice versa. Or someone who is closely attached to that heritage, say, a Bahamian whose parent, s were African. Over here we would just say that we are Bahamians of African descent, but only if the topic came up. Edit number 2. Holy crap thanks for the silver. An Austrian friend and I were told about about this magical thing they have in America called fireworks and how we should go see it at least once in our lives. The typical stuff. Do you have cars, trees, dogs, in Germany? Another favorite. Is Hitler still alive? Actually, there was another time, talking about my sil do you look alike? No, she's black you can't say that. What should I call her then? African American but. She's British slash Guyanese. Poking fun at me with France stereotypes. I'm not from France, my parents are not from France, and I've never been to France. My first language is French, that's enough for Americans to treat me like I'm from France. I met an American tourist who was adamant that my country was a home-ruled territory under the US government. He said this during our nation's Independence Day. I swear on my mother's life that this happened. I was on a student exchange between my German school and a school in San Francisco in the late 90s. 
When the Americans came to visit us, we had a welcome party for them at a friend's place. That friend had a dog, and at some point he gave the dog a command in German. The dog obeyed, and one of the American kids asks how we managed to teach German to the dog. He wasn't joking either, he seemed convinced that all pets are somehow born with knowledge of the English language, but all other languages need to be taught to them. I once had an American tell me I need to try the real Gouda cheese they have in the US because everything else was fake Gouda. I'm Dutch and actually lived near Gouda. Ah, you're from Denmark. Where in Canada is that again? Are your parents Democrats or Republicans? A. Have different political parties here love. As a Brit, I had to bite my tongue when asked, do you celebrate Independence Day? When I visited a friend in the US they told me about this amazing furniture shop they had there called IKEA. I'm Swedish. They asked me if I spoke African. Do you have colored television in Germany? I can't believe you would live in a country where you're living under the dictatorship of the Queen. I am Canadian. Why you speak American very well for a foreigner thanks lady, I'm Canadian and American is the only language I know. I didn't know it was this cold in Cuba, we are in Spain. Spain, Europe, stupid beep came to university here on a scholarship for six months and didn't even know which country was coming into nor thought it was strange how long the flight was. He also didn't think about googling the place to see where it was, the weather. Dunno, information about the place he was going to live for six months. Only packed flip-flops, t-shirts and shorts. We're in the north of Spain, we have UK weather. He had to spend quite a bit for winter clothes in October because he had nothing to wear. He was also bummed because he couldn't find tacos here, you can. White American guy called my British Jamaican friend African American lol edit, as a few people asked, this happened in London. My wife was staying at a hostel in Athens a few years ago. She shared a room with an American in her 20s. They got talking about where they've stayed in the past, and my wife told her that she used to live in Sweden for a few years. The American didn't know where or what Sweden was. My wife said, it's a country, next to Norway. Oh Norway. The American burst out, Ol is from there. Do you know Ol? A middle-aged American was surprised to find out Venice was so old, and an actual city for centuries, and not built in the 20th century for tourist purposes. I'm Australian and in 2015 I was doing a cruise around New Zealand with my family. Might add that I have an autistic daughter who was 14 at the time and despite being autistic is incredibly sociable, but has a tendency to strike up unusual conversations with strangers. We needed to get to one of the restaurants a few floors above us and decided to use the lift instead of the stairs. The lift arrived on our floor and we entered with an elderly couple already inside. My wife and I greeted them and they duly greeted us back and we soon ascertained they were American. Seconds later, my autistic daughter stated the obvious that we were all traveling in a lift. A random throwaway comment, but that's just who she is. The female literally barked at my daughter and told her the correct word was in fact an elevator. At this point I interjected and politely mentioned that where we are from it's called a lift, but this couple were adamant that it was an elevator. Their attitude was we were wrong and they were right. Fortunately we never did get to see them the remainder of the cruise. We share a common language being English and there are going to be differences how we say things depending where we've been brought up, it's about being open-minded and accepting. Unfortunately it appeared that the world revolved around this couple. Spaghetti with eggs kinda weird. That's a carbonara. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upboat for the best quality content every day.